Okay, so I'm gonna challenge you on a couple of things. I heard every word you said, right? Um, you know, you know how close I work with Puff from day one. Um, day one, you was there. Day, day one. one, day one, the greatness, big faith, mace, locks, the whole nine, and then not so great. Him hitting Steve Stout over the head with a bottle. Uh, I remember that. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> I, just oh, I remember that. I just talked about Stout, but. I knew Stout, me and Stout, I know Stout so good, like so well. Like, yeah. But the bottom line is, is this. It's all a part of his legacy. It is. So, so, so when people bring up the locks screaming, raping you records. You can't bring that up without, without bringing up the fact that Puff birthed the locks. And then they all went on to do great things and came back together. So even as, because I watched the interview and I didn't hear it the way you heard it, believe it or not. I just heard, because it's all part of your legacy. It is the good and the bad. And more important, it, it, and I believe, and I'm not sure which one of them said it, but you were so entrenched in hip hop for so many years. Like, like there's been like years, like matter of fact, and then your daughter went on to call you the GOAT. She like, called me the GOAT, I couldn't believe it, man. Yeah, I love you believe it? for that, man. I was, oh, I was my. telling you, I was, I was crying, you know what I'm saying? I was I was shedding tears. You know, I you know, I I hit her up, I thanked her, and I hit her mom up, and it just it was it was a great moment because you know, I just didn't know if 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 she if she felt those type of you know, I'm, you know, I don't want to be the one that has to like, you know, um if 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 somebody doesn't know, then I'm not the one to try to put it in their head. You know, I'm a humble guy. I just you are? I just want to make sure that that even the ugly, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I just want to make sure that the ugly and the bad, that truths are told, and then people can make their decision. The good and is always going to be the good. The good is, and even the good, like if 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 the good comes and people say, "Hey, you started the story," I'm like, "No, I didn't start it. Dave May started it." So even if good comes, I'm going to put the truth in front of the good. I got to put the truth in front of the good. You put the truth in front of the bad, and you put the truth in front of the ugly. This internet thing has ways of pushing narratives on you, and you know, most mostly can be false. You just don't know what to believe on the internet. The only thing that, the only thing that can fight the internet and the false is just the truth. It's just the truth, and you know, I can explain the truth like it's nothing. I don't have to get hyped. I don't have to get emotional. You know, I used to, but then as I've gotten older and I've gotten more mature and more understanding. Of, of self, you know, I don't, I don't have to be upset if I know the truth of me. I, I just don't like, because when anybody else thinks of me, I can't control that. As long as you're not in my space with any type of disrespect, then man, then, you know, God is good and shit, life goes on. But my legacy is important to me. And if, 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 if people are gonna talk to my born, it's my second born child, and if they're going to be having a conversation with her, make sure the things you're talking about, you know what you're talking about. Because that's my daughter. You've only, the world has only got to know her for a few years. I've known her since she came out the womb when I was in, in the hospital. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, so make sure when you talking about my daughter or, 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 or interviewing her and about me, that you, that you know what you're talking about. Because... Shit, more than half the interview was about me anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I was supposed to go on Math Hopper and do a show, and I plan on going up there, but, you know, a lot of these guys, they want you to come on their show, but shit, you got to pay my plane ticket, my hotel. Like, even if you don't want to pay me, you got to, you you know, nobody's coming out their pockets to, you know, to make you guys money. And, and I don't right. I don't have to get, I don't got to get paid or nothing, just, Fly me up there, take care of my hotel, and let's and let's chop it up because I would love to chop it up. Because one thing about me, right? There's not too many people on this earth who can sit and talk hip hop with me. 
It just, I just, Prez, you know, and I hope you feel the same way. We've been around Absolutely. too goddamn. We've been around too long, Prez. We've been around too long. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we've been around when hip hop started, and that means something. It means something to me. I have nothing but respect for all those guys, the Cold Crush, for all the forefathers that started. Spoonie G, Super Rhymes. I can go on and on. Count Cool Out, Funky Four Plus One, the whole Sugar Hill Legacy. I can go on and on and on. And you have to give these people their props. Without them, there is no us. Correct. And that's why I, that's what I would love for the youth to start getting on. You know, shout out to Jada Kiss because I just seen him mention that. Like he said, "Yo, I wish the youth would just." Give respect to the forefathers, man, and just give appreciation because without you know, you, you, it, it just doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like all this money that that you know that these kids making it just doesn't happen. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.